welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this full drugstore makeup look and we are using glitter. Who does not like glitter? If you love glitter, give this video a thumbs up right now and subscribe because more videos are on the way with glitter, without glitter, and all kinds of drugstore videos. So this is the look I came up with today. It was very simple, easy to achieve. I help you guys all along the way. This is something that I feel like all of you guys can do. Put this video right next to you guys as you guys are doing your makeup and follow along with me and let's do our makeup together. So if you guys wanna see how I got this full face drugstore makeup look using glitter then go ahead and keep watching okay, guys so i did already finish up this eye because i wanted to kind of test out this look before i actually showed you guys on camera so first off what i did is i used my essence eye love stage eyeshadow primer right here so i just put that on my lid and then we're going to be using one drugstore palette for this look today. This is the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. I also have another tutorial using this palette and another one that I will link down below if you guys are interested. So what I already did, but I'll show you guys, is I'm taking this big fluffy Wet n Wild brush and I'm just going into this transition color right here. I'm just going to put this in the crease of my eye, running this color back and forth because this is going to help to set the eyeshadow primer and make it not so tacky or sticky. That way all the shadows that we put on top are gonna be much more easier to blend and not sticking to the eyeshadow primer. What I'm gonna do next is take my MAC 217 brush. You don't need to use this MAC 217. Morphe has a very similar one, the M. The M433 brush is a really nice one. So first off, I'm going to be going into this shade right here. This really pretty orangey shade mixed in with this top transition color. I'm literally keeping that color right on the tip of the brush because I really want to keep this color really defined and tight in the crease. Wherever your crease is, that is where you're going to put this color. You could feel it too, right where your crease is with your pinky. That's where you're going to focus this color because I wanna leave the lid area really nice and clean because that's where we're gonna put the fun shimmer and glitter. And if it does get on the lid, it's not a huge deal because we're gonna go back in and clean up the lid with concealer afterwards. So again, I'm holding my brush farther down the handle that way I can really diffuse this color in my crease without putting too much pressure. If I put too much pressure on my brush, it's just gonna create a harsher line from the shadow. Now that we have this really sharp crease, and the color is basically concentrated where I want, I'm going to work on slowly making circular motions with my brush to bluff out the edge of this color. Again, I'm doing that once that crease color is nicely placed and there's not much shadow left on my brush. If you're kind of nervous to do it with the same brush, I would recommend taking the initial blending brush that we used in the beginning. And this one, you don't have to be as careful with it because there's not much color left on this and you're just gonna work at blending out the edges of that shadow. So now we are gonna move on to the uh, back to the eyeshadow primer. This is going to help to carve out your lid area because I guess you could call this like a cut crease, not like a perfect cut crease, but it's somewhere close. I'm just patting this eyeshadow primer out and really cutting this crease. You don't wanna use too much primer. You can also use concealer for this step if you'd like. So now I'm gonna be taking this beautiful rose gold color right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take that first on my finger and we're really just going to press this color everywhere that we put the eyeshadow primer. And then wherever else, I'm gonna take just a smaller little brush. This one is also from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna fill in any areas that I might have missed that my big finger won't catch. Again, you wanna press it down. You don't wanna smudge it or slide it. You wanna press it. So now you could definitely leave it like that. Don't have to add the little bit of glitter that I did, but I am going to. Before we do that, I'm just going to re-intensify this crease right here. So I'm gonna go back in again with my MAC 217 brush and then again with this color right here and this color. And I'm just going to, again, very, very carefully re-intensify this crease color. Like if you guys were to see me right now, I'm barely, barely touching my lid. And then of course, do not forget to go back and blend out your edges. Now, if you wanna deepen up this crease just the tiniest bit, I'm gonna go back in with this chocolate brown color right here. This color is super pigmented, so be careful when you're picking up this color. 
literally take a little bit at a time and this I'm just keeping in this very very outer corner right here just to add a little bit of depth to the eye also something that will help that I've done before is I will take my pinky and lift my pinky by my brow and this will really help to open your crease up a little bit if you're having a if you're having a hard time finding it Again, blending that color out. It's all about blending, guys. Blend, blend, blend. If you guys ever wanted to like dress up your look or add some glitter to your look, if you guys want a good drugstore glitter, these are amazing. These are by Revlon, and these are the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And I'm going to be using this glitter side of it. This color is called Peach Prism right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this color that I'm also going to be using, which you don't have to use both. I just wanted to show you guys what both colors look like. This color is called Topaz Twinkle. First so off, they're going to twist off right here, and they're going to come in like this little lip gloss applicator, it looks like. I don't want to put too much of this on. Of course, use as much glitter as you'd like. So I'm just going to wipe off one side of this brush. And then, looking down into my mirror, I'm not going to brush it across my lid. I'm just going to tap it. You really want to make sure that you are staying almost like looking down or not fully opening your eye because the glitter is still going to be pretty wet and we don't want to transfer this into our crease area. If you just let it dry before you completely look up and I'm just making sure to get that inner corner. If I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking somewhat down. I'm gonna take Paz Color, so beautiful. Again, I like to layer these, but you don't have to. And again, I'm just patting down. I'm not brushing at it because I don't want to disrupt the shadow that we put underneath as a base. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this glitter and then I'll be right back because I feel really weird talking to you guys with my eyes closed. Alrighty guys, so to make sure that the glitter is somewhat dry, I'm gonna just take my pinky and very, very lightly tap it. Mine is um, pretty dry by now. So what I'm gonna do now guys is go ahead and do liner. And for that, I'm gonna be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is really good stuff. And then I'm gonna be applying my other lash. We're gonna move on to the rest of the skin. This glue on this eye is still dry. But to prime my skin, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer right here. This one feels uh, very similar to the Smashbox one. I think it's the Smashbox Original just like clear smoothing primer. So for foundation today I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation right here and I am in the shade Golden Beige Medium. It does come with this little spatula. Recently I've been liking it a lot more so I kind of revisited this foundation. It looked like I was putting on a lot of foundation but it really doesn't build up to be that much or look heavy whatsoever. To blend this foundation out, I'm just using my Equal Tool sponge right here. Alrighty guys, so moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using my Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, and this is waterproof. I'm just gonna be focusing it right here on my inner corner. And in the concealer, I'm in the shade Light Warm. So now what I just did is I'm taking my NYX Finishing Powder in the shade Banana just with my sponge. And I'm just using this to pretty much bake and set my under eye area. I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Pressed Foundation Powder. And I'm just going to kind of dust everything away. So moving on, we're going to go ahead and go on to bronzer. For this, I'm going to be using my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder. and do a blush. I'm so excited to show you guys this blush because you guys know I love my peachy tone blushes and this blush is so beautiful. This is by LA Girl. I picked this up at Ulta a while ago and this is called Just Natural. Such a beautiful blush color and this blush is so pigmented. Like if I just go like that, look how much color comes off on my brush. So be careful with how much product you pick up. Build it up very slowly. Now we're gonna go on to highlighter. For that, I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade 100 Molten Gold, and you guys could just see how beautiful it looks in the packaging. This highlighter is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit down 
the bridge of my nose. Alrighty guys, so we are almost done. I do want to finish up the eyes with you guys. For that, first I'm going to go in with this orange color right here and just run that over my lower lash line. Oh, and now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take this dark brown right here. And this is just going to stay on the very, very outer corner of the eyes. a clean brush I'm just going to take it and of course blend it out go ahead and take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes liner in nude and just put this right in my waterline now to finish up all we have left to do is lips and for that I've been obsessed with this color this is by Koki Cosmetics from Walmart and this is their liquid matte powder so basically like a liquid matte lipstick and this is the color Infamous. The matte liquid lipsticks are just so comfortable to wear. The color is gorgeous. So the last step that we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is I'm first going to push back my hair. And I'm just going to set my face with the Hard Candy Long Wear Sheer Envy 12-Hour um, Setting Spray in this black and pink bottle right here. I'm going to cover up my hair because I don't want my hair to get curly at me. And then with my fan that my lovely grandmother got me, I'm going to go ahead and dry this. This is really going to help all of the powders to, this is really going to help for all the powders, blush, highlighter, everything just really to melt onto the skin and for everything to really become one. That way nothing looks cakey or powdery. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Yet again, another drugstore tutorial with you guys. I had so much fun filming this look. I really hope that you guys were able to pick up some tips or tricks or able to learn something. If you guys did, please let me know in the comments down below or by giving this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of you guys watching. And if you guys want to see more drugstore tutorials, make sure to subscribe because more of them are on the way. So I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.